What's up guys, David here, and it's been a while since I've posted a new video, and a lot of you guys have been asking me on Facebook, on Twitter, and here on YouTube, where the hell I've been, and it's actually a two-part answer. Number one, early last month, I was sick. I don't know if it was due to all that Halloween candy or what, but it did set me back about a week or so. And then number two, and the main reason why I haven't been able to post a new video, is I've been busy finding and moving into a new office space, which I finally got. So uh, I posted on Twitter if you guys were interested in seeing it. A lot of you guys said yes. So in this video, we're gonna be checking out the new space. But not just that, I'm not gonna just be showing you the new space, but also a lot of the equipment I use, since I've never really done a desk tour or a gear tour, other than the one I did at CES last year, which was just my travel stuff. So anyway, in this video, I'm gonna show you some of the equipment I use to make the videos here you see on YouTube. But before I go into that, I wanna show you guys what I plan on bringing to you in the next video. You guys ready? <laughs> It's the uh, Nexus 6. So on Instagram, I posted a picture of this guy asking you guys if you guys were interested in a speed test. Obviously you guys are. Uh, but I wanna know uh, here in the video or in the comments down below, what phones would you guys like to see this pit against? I mean, I'm gonna do it against the uh, Note 4 since that won the last speed test and probably the iPhone 6 since that one seems to be faster than the 6 Plus and also beat the heck out of the uh, Galaxy S5 and marginally by the HTC One M8. So those three phones are already slotted in, but I'm thinking about introducing maybe another phone. I don't know if you guys would be interested, maybe three is enough. Let me know, I have this guy over here, which at and sent out to me, uh, the Moto X, the new one. So I don't know if you guys wanna see that in a speed test, maybe another phone. Let me know down below in the comments and I'll see what I can do to see if we could get in. If not, we'll just do those three that I mentioned before. But anyways, let's go ahead and uh, check out the office space. You guys ready? All right, let's check it out. All right, so welcome to the new phone buff office. Over here, you got the desk that I was just at a second ago. You see, I've got my camera mounted right here in front of the desk. This is a Canon 70D. I'm using it right now and I've been using it on the channel for a while now, but I am actually gonna be shipping it out, getting a new one soon that I'm super excited about. But for the meantime, this is gonna be my camera. Got a lighting kit. Over here, you have a microphone. It's the Sennheiser MKH416. Now, I don't have all the model numbers memorized for all the gear that I have, so I'll be making a list down below in the description. If you guys are interested, check it out. Anyways, uh, you see on this desk, I've got this recorder. So the mic hooks up into the recorder, works a lot better than the internal amps do on the camera and gives you that crisp and clear sound quality that you're used to getting here on the channel. Over here in the corner, you can see we've got some acoustic foam. Helps absorb some of that echo. In fact, right now there probably isn't all that much echo. When I first moved in, there's a bunch of echo, so I think they're helping. Uh, I like to call this area Station A. And the reason why I like to call it Station A is mainly <laughs> so I can call this place Station B because this is where I do all the B-roll. Uh, I do the speed test here. I do the 25 reasons footage, all that good stuff. And what I like about this new office space is it's a lot bigger than my last one was. I mean, this place isn't really all that big to begin with. The last one was a lot smaller. But having this extra space allows me to have one set, you know, configured without having to change the lights every second like I would before. So I have station A, oven ready. I just go in front of it, shoot, record, I'm good. Over here, same thing. Uh, underneath, I've got this slider. So this is the Kessler Stealth. This thing gives super, super smooth slides. And uh, I've got a Manfrotto head on here, the same one that I have on my tripod. But down there, more acoustic foam. And since we're here, I'll go ahead and show you this little mini kitchen slash coffee bar. So we've got a microwave, because a man's gotta eat. <laughs> got a little mini fridge. Nothing really in there, but some cold ones right now. Always a good thing to have. Got a sink. Oh, I'd like to have this guy over here. So this is a 3D model of the human brain. Something that I'm really into outside of tech. So I'd actually say it's my main passion outside of technology is neuroscience. Uh, you guys recognize this, this is from the drop test, which by the way has over 11 million views right now, which is insane. Uh, this thing was to level off the drops. 
interesting over here, the secret room. This is where <laughs> a lot of business gets conducted. Just kidding, it's the bathroom. But what's weird about this bathroom is normally you have a bathroom in an office space, but you don't have a shower. So I don't know if I'm ever gonna use it. Guess it's nice to have just in case I feel dirty before making a video, but moving on, we're gonna go over here and check out where all the magic happens. This is the desk that you guys have probably seen actually in my older videos. So up top, I've got this 4K monitor by Dell. It's the, I don't know the model number, check the description again, but it's the ultra sharp. So it's not that cheaper one that you've seen on the like Cyber Monday deals, uh, but it is really good. It has really good color accuracy, really sharp image. Got Logitech wireless keyboard and mouse. And uh, this one actually has little like solar panels, so I never have to charge it, which is dope. You just press this little button. You can see this little happy face right here. Means that I'm getting energy from the lights above. When the sad face is on, it flashes red, no good. Uh, right here, got a little headphone stand so I can keep my desk looking nice and clean. Got some headphones. So these are the Bose around the ear too. I used to have Audio-Technica headphones and uh, while they produce really good sound quality and the value is great, even though this is Bose and a lot of you guys be like, oh, Bose is overrated and overpriced, these are the most comfortable headphones that I've actually personally tested. And considering that I don't have any other speakers connected and I wear it all the time when I'm using my computer, I need something that's comfortable. Moving along, we got some Android figures, which I've become addicted to collecting. Unfortunately, the little antlers keep breaking off, so I have to keep buying new ones. Got some phones right here, microfibers, pretty much everywhere throughout the office. And this is something actually that's special to me. This is a little plaque that YouTube sent to me for surpassing 100,000 subscribers, which is thanks to you guys. And I know you guys have seen this in a couple of other YouTubers' channels, and I posted a picture of this on my Instagram. And just once again, I wanna say thank you guys, because you guys make it all possible. I gotta find a special spot to hang it up. I haven't figured that out yet. Over here in the corner, it's a more acoustic phone, nothing special. Got a filing cabinet, printer, just regular office stationery. Oh, uh, YouTube also sent this out, this little stool with that plaque. So it's kind of small, I don't know if I, I can sit on it, but if somebody comes in and they want to sit here and not grab that chair, they've got a seat. Anyways, moving along, we've got a boom pole. So this thing is, uh, the, I use this with the same mic that I pin over there on that main uh, Station 8 desk. I just plug the mic in here, swing it over to my desktop. I'm able to do voiceovers for those speed tests and other videos that I do. This thing, I actually have had this for a while. Haven't been able to use it a lot because the old office space, again, was a lot smaller. This one's bigger, so I'm able to bring it in, move it around when I need to, but it's a jib, so you can just kind of, you put the camera on here, it swings up and down nice and smooth, and it goes up to like 12 feet, so if I use it outdoors, you get some really nice shots. Over here, just some plastic containers holding your regular office supplies, some more acoustic foam up there in the corner to help absorb that echo, and uh, that is pretty much it for the office space. Out here, you have your entry or exit, whatever you want to call it. And what's cool is this spot is kind of secluded and to its own. So like, I don't have any direct, direct neighbors. I mean, there's people in offices in different buildings, but this building is kind of standalone in my own. Downstairs, I've got some storage, which, you know, it's too boring to show you guys. But other than that, that is pretty much it. Uh, again, let me know which phone you guys want to see or which phones you guys want to see pit against the Nexus 6 in the speed test. That is most likely gonna be my, my next video unless I do something else, but for the most part, that's what I'm thinking. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the very next episode.